I've got a tutorial for you today and it's using this little palette. This is called the Lorac Pocket Pro. And I got it at Kohl's recently, um, and I've also seen it at Ulta. So I'm not sure if this palette comes in different colors, but mine that I got has nude, pewter, and espresso in it. And it's just so cute and just perfect for traveling. Now what I didn't realize is that these shadows are also in the Lorac Pro palette, which I do own. But I, I don't use this palette enough to really know what's in it and to have all the colors memorized. But once I started using this one, I was like, I think I recognize these names. <laughs> so I went and checked and they are the same. Um, but these are bigger size, so I like that. It was $15 for this little palette, which I think is a fair price, and I think it's just perfect for traveling. So I am glad that I have it, and I just think it's cute and adorable and tiny and sweet. So anyway, this is what I use for my tutorial today, but you could also use the Lorac Pro palette for this look. Um, and it's just this kind of easy taupey pewter eye. It's really simple to do. I just used this palette and then I did bring in a transition shade because this palette doesn't have anything really for blending out colors. But if you're using your Lorac Pro palette, that definitely has some transition shades that you could use. So anyway, if you want to see how to get this look, this kind of easy taupey pewter eye, then just keep watching. Okay, we're going to start by priming our eyes. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild Fergie Eyeshadow Primer. Now I'm going to take Max Painterly Paint Pot and apply that all over my lids as a base. And this palette really doesn't have a good transition shade, so I'm going to be using one of my own. This is Ben Nye's Honey, so you can grab whatever kind of shade you have like this, Max Soft Brown or something like that, and apply that just above your crease. Now we're going to go in with our palette. I'm going to get some of Pewter and apply that to kind of the middle of my lid because we're going to be using the lighter color on the inner corner and the darkest color on the outer corner. These do definitely have fallout, so just know that's something to watch out for. Now I'm going to take some of the lightest shade, this is Nude, and I'm going to apply that to the inner corner of my eye. Now take some kind of a tiny brush and we're going to get some of espresso and we're going to be applying that to our outer corner. Now just know Lorac shadows are very pigmented so you want to be careful. So here we go. And now since we lost a little bit by using that dark shade, I'm going to do a little bit more blending and add some more of my original lighter colors to just kind of brighten those up a little bit more. Now I'm going to take a skinny flat brush and some of espresso and apply that to my lower lash line. And then I'm going to apply some of Nude on the inner corner of my lower lash line. Now take your favorite brown eyeliner. I'm going to be using this one from Mally. This is the Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner in Wild Thing. You could also use black on your lower lash line. It's whichever one you want to use. I'm going to use brown. So just line your lower lash line and your waterline. Now take your favorite black eyeliner. I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black and line your upper lash line. And it's optional if you want to do a wing. I'm going to, but you don't have to. That's optional. Then curl your lashes and apply your favorite mascara. I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Clump Crusher and the Jordana Best Volume Extreme. Okay guys, so here is the finished look. Just stay tuned to find out what I use on the rest of my face. For the rest of my face, I'm wearing my Estee Lauder Double Wear set with my e.l.f. High Definition Powder. This powder is so good. It just 
really makes your skin look flawless and it's so inexpensive, it's great. And then for bronzer, I'm wearing my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. It blends beautifully, smells delicious. And then for blush, I'm wearing Max Melba. This is such an easy, no-brainer blush. It's kind of a brownish sort of coral. It just goes with everything and it just blends beautifully and it wears really well on your skin. It's a great blush. And then for bronzer, I'm wearing Max Stereo Rose. This was a limited edition MSF, but if you have it in your collection, you could use it. But you could also use a golden highlight, champagne, whatever you have in your collection. So it really doesn't matter what you use as far as highlight, but that's what I used. And then for lipstick, I'm wearing my MAC Lovelorn. It's just a really nice mid-tone pink. Goes with everything, easy, comfortable to wear, and MAC lipsticks are just amazing. I love them. Okay guys, so that is the finished looking tutorial. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Let me know any questions down below. I'm happy to answer those. Um, let me know, do you own this little palette? What do you think of it? Or are you smarter than me and just own the Lorac Pro palette <laughs> that has the same shades in it? Um, I know that you guys have requested some looks with the Lorac Pro and I am planning on doing those. It's on my list to film, so I'm not sure when they will come, but they are on my list. But we can consider this one since it's the same shades. <laughs> I just didn't realize, because um, I just bought this one recently and wanted to play with it, so that's why I use this palette. But it's all the same. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!